Hi, my name is Paul Setzel. I'm the project director for the Moreton Bay Rail Link project on behalf of the three levels of government, being the federal government, the state government and the local government. The corridor has been planned for over 114 years. It is a 12.6k dual track from Petrie Station all the way through to Kippering. Um, there will be stations at uh, Kalanga, Marumba Downs, Mango Hill, Kinsellas, Rothwell and Kippering. The rail line will be operational by 2016. The corridor has been uh, preserved by QR since 1978. Um, the railway line links in with Petrie Station on the North Coast Main Line. Um, there will be a spur link from uh, the existing railway um, out to the Moreton Bay Rail Link. Um, at Petrie Station there will be an additional platform as well as um, some additional parking and, and other facilities. Moving out the station you go across Yerribee Creek which is the first bridge and then into a cutting over the Amcor land um, and that swings round to get Dolly's Rocks Road and there, there's a road bridge that goes road over rail and that's um, going to be a four lane bridge over the rail as the council have um, four lane further down uh, Dolly's Rocks uh, so the road over rail into Kalanga Station. Um, Kalanga Station is uh, there's quite a bit of land owned by the state. They're looking at uh, master planning that going forward uh, and that's subject to a different piece of work. At Kalanga Station um, that will be a dual platform. Um, moving out of Kalanga we've got Goodfellows Road is severed so we've got road over rail um, with a link into Duffield. The, road, the rail at that level is around about one or two metres above existing ground level. Uh, moving from Kalanga Station along to Freshwater Creek, there is a structure of around about 250 metres long, moving into Marumba Downs. Now Marumba Downs Station is uh, an ideal location on the corridor for a um, uh, park and ride large park and ride and, and looking to capture a lot of the, the uh, cars that are coming down from the Bruce Highway. Marumba Downs is also the point where the, the rail starts to climb to get over the Bruce. So leaving Marumba Downs Station you go over Braze Road, Braze Road um, onto North Embankment which is about six to eight meters above the existing ground level um, right next to those houses. Then over the Bruce and then back over the Freshwater Creek again into a cutting um, all the way through to Mango Hill Station. Freshwater Creek Road is a, is a road over rail that uh, will be built as part of this project as well. Mango Hill Station, it, that is proposed to be the uh, bus to rail hub, uh, it, it essentially servicing the, the great area of North Lakes, bussing them into Mango Hill and getting them on the train down to Petrie and, and where they want to go from there. From Mango Hill we go through a cutting um, all the way through to Kinsella's Road, uh, Kinsella's East Road which is part of the North-South Bypass southern section. Um, the project will be building a single lane road over the rail there. Getting into Kinsella's Road um, we've got uh, development around there that is approved by the council. Uh, south of the railway in that big area is, is owned by Urbex. They've got uh, development approval for around about 2,200 2, lots. So Kinsella's Road is uh, there for, to provide for future development with uh, a further 212 houses being built or townhouses being built north of the railway. Moving along from Kinsella's Road, uh, the railway is on an embankment. Uh, moving across Rothwell to Rothwell Station which crosses Saltwater Creek um, and that is the only area that the uh, project interfaces with the Ramsar wetland or crosses the Ramsar wetland. Uh, the Rothwell Station site is, is a relocation from its previous location um, and the project is taking the opportunity to, uh, to acquire some land, two parcels of land there, about 26 hectares I believe, and um, the southern half of that little area gets severed by the railway and the project are looking to um, use that as part of their uh, environmental offsetting and uh, revegetating and, and putting it back into the Hayes Inlet conservation system. The area north of the railway that is suitable for um, uh, a, a construction site 
be uh, as part of the station park and ride and see any future transit oriented development in the future. Moving along from Rothwell, uh, the railway is on the embankment all the way through to Kippering Station. Um, just before you get to Kippering Station there is um, a provision for train stabling. Train stabling is where they look, uh, they, they place trains overnight uh, and, and keep them so they uh, are available to, to uh, join with the service going forward. The numbers of train stabling, they're looking somewhere between 5 and ultimately 15 trains to be stabled there going forward. Uh, Kippering Station, um, that ends just short of Anzac Avenue. Um.